All right, so good evening, Mr. Jose Antonio Sierra. How are you, sir? All right, so good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening. So how are you doing? How are you? I am. Um, a little bit tired, sick. <laughs> tired. Yeah, I see. Tired. But you know, it's it's the uh, it's the last the last class of the week, so we don't have classes tomorrow, at least, right? So I would say that's that's something good. So here we go. I for, I, I, you know, I forgot to ask you yesterday uh, if you have any questions about the platform. Do you have any questions about it or not? So everything good? So do you have any questions about the platform or not? So you're fine? No. Yeah. All right. I'm fine. So that, that's good, that's good. All right. All right, so let me just wait, uh, let's say one minute or two, so we can start with this. So I only have six participants. I only have you, Manuel, Adriana, Jose, uh, Sierra, Nati, and Tania. So, um, All right, so let's take you from here. Uh, so uh, welcome everyone to the last class of this week, which is the first one. So as you know, every single class, we start with, with uh, a, a phrase or a word. You know, the reason I'm doing this is to help you, you know, get uh, more vocabulary, all right? So for tonight, the phrase has to do with, with this expression, which is the easy way out. And as you can see, I have the complete expression. So, and that is this one. So the full expression is this, you know, take the easy way out. And I would say that a short way to uh, make reference to this is easy way out, okay? But you may be wondering, so what does this expression mean? And here I have uh, the definition, you know, the meaning, and we're gonna read this. So I'm gonna ask right now, um, let's see, um, who do I have over here in the meeting? So uh, Jose, uh, Sierra, help us please read this, please. The, uh, the meaning, if you don't mind. Yeah, read please, uh, you know, from here, you know, until here. Thank you. So, Anissa. No I mean, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, I cannot hear you, Jose. I cannot hear you. I think your connection is 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 unstable, so I'm sorry about that. What about you, Tanya? Would you like to help us read this this uh, sentence, please? An easy way of doing something or, or of dealing with a problem, but not the right way or the best way. Okay, thank you. And then we have an example sentence over here, and I'm gonna ask. Uh, the other gentleman. So, Mr. Manuel Duarte, help us on this one, please. He gets um, what the ones um, by hard work never by talking the easy way out. All right. 
Thank you so much. So uh, in other words, in life, maybe at work, at home, but imagine that you have a specific task. Well, you know, any situation that you may have, you have two options. You know, you can uh, take the easy way out or you can go the hard way. You can take it the hard way. For example, if you learned a lesson, the hard way, it means that something bad happened to you. But in this case, it means uh, easy way out means eh, agarrar el camino fácil. You know, that's, that's what it means. O como zafarse, zafarse fácilmente of something. All right. So this is the expression. For, for, uh, and I can give you another example on this one. In the English Corporativo platform, you need to uh, complete the knowledge checks. Is that correct? In the platform, all you need to pass, you know, and to get an 80% of out of everything in there, you need to get 80 points, okay? But if you wanna go the easy way out, all you gotta do is just to go and check the knowledge checks and you don't have to go point by point, okay? That is, you know, to take the easy way out. ¿Verdad? Como salirse con la suya. That, you know, this is the meaning of this. Any questions about this, everyone? Oh, or, or any example that you can, like, give me right now so we can, uh, I don't know, we can make this a little bit better. Any example that you can think of right now? Tomar el camino fácil. That's the meaning of this. You know, tomar el camino fácil. He gets, gets, uh, está como en presente o pasado. That's the present. Yeah. If he has an S, present. It, that's present. That's present, yes. He gets, okay. I mean, but this is not really important. What matters is this, you know, this is what we're studying right now. Do not pay attention to the rest. So I can tell you. Um, I have to, I have to finish a report, you can say. I have to finish a report, okay? And if you don't want to do it right, you're, you're going to take the easy way out. La forma más fácil va a ser, okay? So when you don't do what you're supposed to do, maybe at home, okay, or at work, so you're just taking the easy way out, okay? But if you don't give me any example, we're just gonna, you know, leave it until here. We're gonna stop it over here. We're gonna continue with the activity that I have for you tonight. So uh, what we have, it's a listening, which, which is life as an immigrant. Okay, I'm going to play the listening for you. I'm gonna play it two times. The first time I play this, you're gonna, to li you're gonna listen to uh, interviews with two immigrants to the United States and where are they from? The two immigrants are Mr. Hoy and Mr. Admet, okay? Just by looking at the names, you have a clue, you know, a hint what country or, or the countries these two uh, persons are from, okay? So, uh, and what you're gonna do right now, you're going to write in your cell phones and you're gonna send the response to, to WhatsApp, okay? You're gonna you're gonna just uh, put the name of the person, which is the the first one is this one, okay? And number two is this. All right. So you're uh, you're gonna listen to this. I'm gonna play it for you, and then you're gonna tell me. Uh, Hoi is from I don't know from China, and Ahmed is from uh, Saudi Arabia, for example. Okay, that's what you're gonna send to me in the WhatsApp. Is that clear? <clears throat> Yes, it's clear. All right, thank you. And the, the second time you listen to this, you're going to fill in the blanks. So, and for that, I'm going to send this image to you right now. Okay. I'm sorry. So, let me just one second. You know, in the meantime, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for more people to join this class because at least we're supposed to have 10 students in this class. In total, you're like 20. 
But right now, yes, I have nine participants. So just one moment, please. Yeah, the question was like to uh, change the discount time for 1130 a.m. So one second. All right. Okay, so I just sent the image to you in, in the chat. Can somebody just double check that the information was received, please? Did you get it? Yes. All right, yeah. thank you, yes. appreciate that. So let me just uh, go ahead and share the screen uh, with you. And um, so we can start this listening exercise right away. Here we go. And... Okay, so just one second. All right, so I'm sorry about that. I just found it. Uh, and this is the listening, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm also going to share the, uh, the screen Page of the audio, okay? And this is the one. Let me just uh, expand this a little bit. And here we go. So uh, I'm, I'm asking you right now, can you see both the listening, life as an immigrant, you know, the chart, and also can you see the screen of the audio? Can you see both the screens in front of you? Yes. All right, thank you. So let me play the listening. And all you gotta do is just to tell me the countries or where uh, Hoy and where Admet are, are from. Okay, that's it. And you're gonna send the response to the WhatsApp, okay. Here we go. Page three, exercise four, listening. Life as an immigrant. Part A. Listen to interviews with two immigrants to the United States. Where are they from? Hui. Where are you from originally, Hui? I'm from Vietnam, from Ni Hanoi. And when did you move here? I came here after I graduated from college. That was in 1998. And what do you do now? I work for a communications company. I see. So you're an immigrant to the United States. That's right. What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? Oh, that's not an easy question to answer. There are so many things, really. I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking. Ahmed. All right, the second. Where are you from, Ahmed? I'm from Egypt. And when did you move to the U.S.? In 2005. Are you studying here at the moment? Not now. I moved here to attend college. And after I graduated, I got a job here. I'm working as an engineer. Uh-huh. And what was it like when you first came here? Was it difficult? Yeah, it was at times. The biggest difficulty I had was with the educational system. Things are very different here teaching methods, everything is very different from what I was used to in Egypt. And what do you miss the most from Egypt? My family and my friends. I try to go home often, but it's expensive to go back. I have some friends coming to visit next month, so I'm really looking forward to that. All right. So um, can somebody tell me the, you know, where are they from? You know, Fuji, the first one, and the second one, where is Admin from? Uh, uh, Shui uh, is in Vietnam. From Vietnam, okay. What about uh, Admin? No, listen. Okay, you weren't able to listen. You didn't listen to it. 
All right, so why don't you send the responses to the chat over here? So the first one is, uh, you know, who he is from, and they use the, write the name order, and then admit, and let's see what's the name of this guy. Let me just one sec, please. Um, hold on, and the name of the of the second one is, what's the name of the second one? You have this information, it's admin, right? Okay, so you sent to the chat, where is he from? So where is admin from, by the way? Was somebody able uh, li uh, to, to listen to this? Yes, that's correct. He's from Egypt, that's right. Now I'm going to play the listening a second time and now you're gonna pay attention to these questions. If you want, you can grab a notebook to write your notes, okay? Or just pay attention and to try to remember this. So the first question is, when did he move to the United States? The second question is, what is difficult about being an immigrant? And the last is, what does he miss the most? All right? You got it? We got it. All right, thank you. So if I were you, I would take notes. So here we go, second time, uh, uh, when? They moved second time. Yeah. We know what it's difficult about being an immigrant, and number three, it's what they miss, miss the most over here. One, two, three. Page three, exercise four, listening. Life as an immigrant. Part A. Listen to interviews with two immigrants to the United States. Where are they from? Hui. Where are you from originally, Hui? I'm from Vietnam, from near Hanoi. And when did you move here? I came here after I graduated from college. That was in 1998. And what do you do now? I work for a communications company. I see. So you're an immigrant to the United States. That's right. What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? Oh, that's not an easy question to answer. There are so many things, really. I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking. Ahmed. Where are you from, Ahmed? I'm from Egypt. And when did you move to the U.S.? In 2005. Are you studying here at the moment? Not now. I moved here to attend college. And after I graduated, I got a job here. I'm working as an engineer. Uh-huh. And what was it like when you first came here? Was it difficult? Yeah, it was at times. The biggest difficulty I had was with the educational system. Things are very different here. Teaching methods, everything is very different from what I was used to in Egypt. And what do you miss the most from Egypt? My family and my friends. I try to go home often, but it's expensive to go back. I have some friends coming to visit next month, so I'm really looking forward to that. All right, so uh, you want to listen to this a uh, third time, or should we take it from here? So do you want me to eh, repeat this? Eh, no sé si no logro escuchar así en español, pero Aimet no sé de qué dice, de, de dónde viene. O sea, el país o la ciudad no lo logro. I mean, he, he's from Egypt. Egypt. Egipto. Egypt. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. He's from Egypt. Sí. Yeah, and no somebody... Logro, claro. no mm -hmm. Yeah, and somebody sent the answer, actually, Manuel, to the WhatsApp. Somebody sent the answer to the WhatsApp. Over there. Um, so let me ask in general, um, what we're gonna do, first of all, we're going to um, complete another activity right now. So let me let me just go to the presentation over here because I'm gonna put you in, 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 um, in purse to practice this, okay? So when I send you to practice in the breaker rooms, you're gonna be practicing 
two tasks, okay? You're gonna complete two tasks. Number one, you're going to talk, talk about QG and admin information, okay? You're gonna discuss with your classmates when they move to the United States, okay? It may be the reasons why they moved. For example, you can say that Hugh, Hugh G, he works for a company, you have to give details. You also can mention that this guy uh, is a student and that's why he moved to the United States. You have to give also the details uh, about why, you know, what is difficult about being an immigrant. They both uh, give examples, you know, about their families, but I'm not supposed to give you the answer right now. And number three, what does he miss the most? So you can say why he misses the most. Maybe is I don't know, maybe it's the food, maybe it's the weather or the right, family right. or the customs, right? In admin, you can also mention the same thing. I don't know, his friends, for example. So one more time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna practice in purse and you're gonna share the responses to this. For example, Manuel, if you didn't get the country, you can say, okay, you can ask your friend, hey, where is, where is uh, admin from? And then your friend is going to tell you, uh, he's from Egypt, and he said this, this, and this, and that. But right now, pongámoslo en espera esto. You know, let's place it on hold because I have a second activity for you, and this is, you know, this is one of my favorite topics. Okay, and that is pronunciation practice tongue twisters, trabalenguas. Okay, so tonight we're gonna be studying some tongue twisters. Okay, and the reason is they're gonna help you become more fluent when speaking English, all right? And the tongue twisters are going to be three main ones. And these are related uh, to the past tense, okay? To the, to the simple past. So I have the first one. So right now, please pay attention to me because I'm gonna read the tongue twisters two times. The first time I'm going to rip them slowly, o sea, despacio, and the second time I'm going to say them fast. I will say normally. Lo leo despacio y luego normal. Okay? And I have this one. I got another one. I got like three tongue twisters. Entonces, cuando yo los ponga, los coloque a ustedes en los breaker rooms, van a practicar las preguntas de listening y los tongue twisters. So that's what you're going to do. Okay? The, the answers to the questions and the tone twisters. But first of all, listen to me, please. All right? So Peter Piper picked, in here you say picked, a peco pico peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peco pico peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peco pico peppers, where's the peco pico peppers Peter Piper picked? All right? One more time. Peter Piper picked a peco pico peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peco pico peppers. If Peter picked a peco pico peppers, where's the peco pico peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, let me explain the meaning, you know, of this. This, you know, this is a peck. A peck is a unit of measurement equal to about eight quarts. You know, it's a peck, como un frasco. Peppers, of course, you know what a pepper is, right? I raised the most, but chiles. And peppers means the peppers are preserved in vinegar. So, a peco pico peppers, como un jarro de, de chiles. All right, so that's the first one. And I got an, another one for you. Number two, the bug, the bug and the bee and the bird, okay? This animal is called a ladybug, okay? It's a ladybug. And this guy is doing the rock jumps on, right? And right below, in this image, of course, is a bird, okay? So, and this is the explanation. Uh, I mean, this, this is the tongue twister, you know, lo que está en rojo es el trabalenguas. A big bug beat a ball, ball bear, and the ball, ball, bird, bled, blood, badly, all right? A big bug, bat, bug is insecto, beat a ball, bolt. Okay, se pronuncia igual. Bolt es como uh, alguien atrevido. And bold is this guy, you know, la roca es calvo. Uh, bird, and the ball, ball, bird, bled, sangro, como lo pico, ¿verdad? Uh, beat es picar o morder, right? Bled, 
blood badly. Blood es sangre. Ok, es como que lo pinche un zancudo, está diciendo, ¿verdad? A, a, al, al oso. All right? Que no tenía pelaje. So that's what we're saying over here. Bug is another word for insect. Bug means the bird has no hair. Blood is the red fluid that comes out of your body when you are injured, la sangre, right? The verb is bleed, you know, bleed out, sangrar, and the past tense is bled. So listen to me, please. A big bug beat a bald, bald bird, and the bald, bald bird bled blood badly, okay? You don't have to say it fast, that, you know, no problem. Number three. Obviamente ya les voy a compartir ¿verdad? el material para que usted accese y pueda escuchar la pronunciación por su propia cuenta, ¿ok? So I'm going to share, you know, the, the information for you so you can access to this on your own, all right? Are we good uh, up to right now? Right. All right, thank you. So the next one is, don't twist your number five. Hay que poner atención a los números del tongue twister que yo le estoy comparti compartiendo. Pay attention. You see, the first one was a tongue twister number one, Peter Piper. The next one is uh, tongue twister number two. Then this one is tongue twister number three. But, you know, from one to three is only uh, the, the third one. So this one, Betty Butter bought a bit of butter. The butter Betty Butter bought was a bit bitter. It made her butter bitter. But a bit of better butter makes better butter. So Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter, making Betty Butter's bitter butter better. En inglés, la T se hace una R, ¿verdad? Una R, right? Like in this one, like when you say better. Okay, here in the United States, we say that. So Betty Butter bought. ¿Por qué es esto? Para que practiquemos el pasado. The bought, you know, buy. Betty Butter bought a bit of butter. The butter Betty Butter bought was a bit bitter. It makes her butter bitter, but a bit of better butter makes better butter. So Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter, making Betty Butter's bitter butter better. No importa si no entendemos, ¿verdad? The, the, the uh, point in here, el punto es, the point is, you know, to speak, okay, and to become more fluent. Si usted lo dice despacio, no hay ningún problema. Si se equivoca, if you make mistakes, no, there's, there's no problem either, all right? A bit. ¿Qué es, qué, es, ¿Qué es un bit? What's a bit? It's a very small amount, como un poquito. A little bit. I say just a little bit. Do you speak English? A little bit. But in your case, you speak a little bit more. So the word bitter is the opposite of sweet. Sweet, como bitter sweet, right? Agridulce, ¿verdad? Bitter sweet. The word batter means the liquid mixture of flour, milk, I mean flour, milk, eggs, butter, o sea, butter es la mezcla de. Ok, entonces está diciendo que esta señora o, o señorita hizo una mezcla de un montón de cosas, incluyendo margarina. All right. So that's what they're saying over there. All right. So just to give you a recap. Number one, let's start over. Voy a poner el listening una, una vez más. Ok, I'm going to play the listening the third time. And this time, write details. All right. Write details. O sea, no solamente pónganle atención a las preguntas, you know. You know, do not pay attention uh, to this, you know, not only uh, pay attention to this, but also to, to some more details, okay? And then you're going to practice the, uh, the, the tongue twisters. But I need to ask someone over here. A ver si, si captamos la indicación. Let's see, Miss, Mrs. Montoya or Miss Montoya Nati, could you please help me? Um, just verify the information, okay? The instructions. What are you supposed to do, by the way? What do you need to do? First, we have to answer uh, the questions about the listening. Then we have to practice the, the I don't know tongue, what it's called. Tongue, tongue twisters. Twist. Tongue twisters, yes. All right, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, so right now I'm sending to you the tongue twisters, all right? To the personal chat, chat in here. Did you get it? Yes. All right, thank you. So let me play the listening uh, third time and then um, in that way you're gonna, uh, you know, more notes about this. 
All right. And All right, sorry about that. There you go. So remember, pay close attention to, you know, when did they move to the United States? What's difficult about being an immigrant? And number three, what they miss the most. And besides that, please write, write details. Details are gonna help you. So in this moment, you're supposed to grab a notebook with a pencil or just your cell phone and just start typing, you know, typing, that's it. Here we go. Page three, exercise four, listening. Life as an immigrant. Part A, listen to interviews with two immigrants to the United States. Where are they from? Hui. Where are you from originally, Hui? I'm from Vietnam, from near Hanoi. And when did you move here? I came here after I graduated from college. That was in 1998. And what do you do now? I work for a communications company. I see. So you're an immigrant to the United States. That's right. What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? Oh, that's not an easy question to answer. There are so many things, really. I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking. Ahmed. Where are you from, Ahmed? I'm from Egypt. And when did you move to the U.S.? In 2005. Are you studying here at the moment? Not now. I moved here to attend college, and after I graduated, I got a job here. I'm working as an engineer. Uh-huh. And what was it like when you first came here? Was it difficult? Yeah, it was at times. The biggest difficulty I had was with the educational system. Things are very different here. Teaching methods, everything is very different from what I was used to in Egypt. And what do you miss the most from Egypt? My family and my friends. I try to go home often, but it's expensive to go back. I have some friends coming to visit next month, so I'm really looking forward to that. All right. All right, so right now I'm going to be making the uh, breaker room so you can practice the uh, details about this conversation and then to practice the uh, tone twisters, okay? Copy that, everyone. Okay. All right. Wait, wait. All right, thank you. Okay, so the rooms have been opened. Uh, Carlos, Jocelyn, and Tania are together. Cesar and Mariana are together. Me here. Edwin, Nati are together. Adriana and Manuel Duarte together. Jose and Luis. Join, please. Breaker room number five. And Margarita and Miguel at room number six. All right, so this is Jocelyn, Tanya, and Carlos, right? So right now, uh, you need to uh, share the details about this, this conversation, please. I mean, this listen. I mean, you, you can help each other, eh, Tanya. You can help each other. So pueden ayudar mutuamente. So no problem. The idea is just, you know, to speak. <laughs> All right. Leo la pregunta y alguien que la conteste, algo así. Yeah, or you just can you just can say, okay, so uh, Hugh, he is from, and you say the country, and then you give details about him. All right. 
Um, but number one, uh, she is from uh, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And what about the other guy, Edmund? Edmund is Egypt. Okay, so Edmund is from Egypt, right? Okay. He's from Egypt. Uh, if I ask you, if I ask you, everyone, if I ask you why, you know, why, why did they move to the United States? If I ask why, you don't have to answer to me right now, but at least keep that in mind, please. Hmm, maybe you don't remember that. But that's okay. You know, I'm going to, this is an, an, another room, you know, to help uh your classmates over there but please you know try to share this once you finish with these uh details uh practice the tom twisters please okay do you have any questions for me right now or anything that you want to ask me or we're good no questions for me for the second, eh, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? He's, he's difficult. Eh, uh -huh. But what, ¿cómo what's respondo? the word? It's difficult for him or it's difficult for? It's difficult, it's difficult for him. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, he missed a holiday and week. Okay. With your friends. With with his friends, right? Okay. Okay. His friends. Okay. Yeah, it's difficult for him uh, being away from the family, right? Okay. All right. But yes, Carlos and let's see, Jocelyn, you know, try to help each other. I mean, it's okay if you speak Spanish, but at least you should uh, say the answers in English, please. All right, so I have to go, you know, I have to visit some other rooms, you know, to help. So, you know, see you around. I'll send five. And the difficult about being an immigrant, I think was the, the way, I know my quarter. <laughs> All right, so did you take notes, Marianne? <laughs> <laughs> oh, teacher. Aha, uh -huh, you didn't take notes, huh? Mm. Solo yo estoy respondiendo. <laughs> right, but, dice but... que entró un poquito tarde, dice que entró un poquito tarde. All right, I know, uh, okay, voy a hacer algo distinto mejor. Voy a poner, voy a hacer grupo de tres. Creo que así nos ayudamos mejor, okay? So, le voy a mandar compañía. Profe, ¿y usted siempre nos está escuchando, pues? Sí, yo le escucho. <risa> yo le escucho. O sea, a todos a todo los rooms me escucha. No, a pues, veces me tengo que ingresar a cada room y ahí voy. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Right now I'm with you, so I'm, I'm not listening to the rest of it. Vaya, pero este es el breaker room number one, I think. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's number two. It's number two, yes. Your sister and then Marianne. Vamos a mandarles compañía. Se van a asustar si los muevo, pero igual. <laughs> mm, así estábamos bien, la verdad. Solo que se me había olvidado eso. <laughs> okay. Ese poquitito. But did, but did you take notes, Marianne? <laughs> Anotó, tomó apuntes. ¿Es que? No, no, no ah. los tomé, disculpe. Sí, no, no hay problema. Lo que pasa es que, o sea, si vamos a dar como detalles, no, la memoria, o sea, a mí se me olvida también lo que dijeron algunas cosas, al menos que sí esté bien concentrado. En uh -huh. that's the thing over here. That helps. Uh -huh. All right, es but... Que... Uh -huh. Habíamos acordado, o sea, yo, yo había pensado de que él respondía uno y el otro, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. como ahí ingresó un poquito tarde, le dije que él me le diera las preguntas y yo iba a responder. ¿va? Está bien. Pero, ajá, 
ya, ya a mí se me había <ríe> olvidado eso, lo de... No, lo está de... bien. Uh -huh. Ok, let, let me share o sea, with es you. Que no, me, no es que se me había olvidado, sino que no sabía cómo decirlo en inglés. Ok. ¿Y qué es lo que quiere decir específicamente? Perdón. Ay, es que no sé, no, no me acuerdo cómo es que decía que, que era el sistema de educación que era muy diferente ah, el de Egipto the, al de Estados Unidos. The, the educational system is different in the, in the states, uh -huh. in the United States. Sí, se me había olvidado de como más o menos el orden en decirlo. Mm -hmm. Ok, but you have an idea, that's great, you remember at sí, least. Sí. That's great. Nice. And, and what's difficult uh, uh, for for Hu Yi, the first one, the Vietnamese, what's difficult for him? <coughs> Mm. Is it being away from family? It's difficult for it to be alone, you know, to be alone. Because because he mentions Marianne, so he, you know he mentions uh, back in Vietnam we have a lot of holidays and then we visit families and friends over the weekend and the holidays. He says. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So right now, Cesar is, is not practicing. So Cesar, can you can you speak up, please, Cesar? Uh, <laughs> the how I not, not remember. Uh, and rem okay. uh, All right. And Ahmed, uh, and what does he miss the most? Uh, your family and you, your I friends. Mean, his family, right? His family, Ahmed's family. Oh, right? his family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean that's okay. Keep on practicing. I I gotta go visit some of, some of your uh, classmates right now. Remember, if you're done with this, if you termina con esto, you gotta practice the tongue twisters, please. That's the second activity, please. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. All right, Mr. Duarte. Uh, twist twice. Very important. Let's see, Adriana and then Mr. Duarte. So you're practicing the tongue twisters right now. That's where you're yes. doing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's a tongue twister. So I'm going to share the screen for, for you. Which one are you, number one? Are you practicing number one? Yes. All right, so uh, if it goes slowly, you, you know, you're gonna listen to this. So listen to this. Were you able to listen? Did you listen to it? Se escuchó el audio? No. No se escuchó. All right. Perdón, entonces vamos a compartir. Sí, tienen razón. No se puede. No, no, no elegí la, la opción aquí. Perdón, hoy sí. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Vale, no me diga picket, porque el pasado es picked, ¿ok? Y con sí, al final, va, va. Yes, with T, that's correct, that's correct. Sí. Yes, y aquí úname la, el sonido de la K con la A, y el sonido de la K con la O. ¿Verdad? Pica, va a decir pica, K, como pica, da pica, peco. Pica, peco. Ajá. Oh. Aquí, oh, y aquí, yeah. y aquí, y aquí. Y aquí en el primero donde dice picked, una la T con la A. Picta. 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 Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Uh -huh. Where is the pick up? Peck of. Peck of. Where is the pick? Uh -huh. So what we're doing is we're we're linking, you know, we are uh, joining the sounds. O sea, estamos enlazando los sonidos. That's what we're doing. Okay, linking sounds. 
So that's that's the first one. The second one. No. This one. That's the second one. Let's okay, listen to it. A big bug bit a bold bald bear and the bold bald bear bled blood badly. Okay. Bold and bold significa uh, se, se pronuncian igual, the same pronunciation for this. Bold, bold es alguien atrevido, ¿verdad? Alguien temerario. Bold. Mm -hmm. Alguien con agallas. And bold mm -hmm. is no hair. You know, no hair. Pelón. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> El contexto es que un bicho, un animal, un mosquito, un insecto le picó en la pelona al, al oso. ¿Ok? Y lo hizo sangrar. O sea, un mosquito, lo más seguro. O sea, un zancudo. But we got a big bug bit, a ball ball bird. And the ball ball bird bled blood badly. Entonces, que bled, aunque tienen una O, se dice como blood, con una A. Blood. Badly. Blood. Blood, es sangre, ok. Entonces, a big bug bit, a bull bull bird, and the bull bull bird bled blood badly. Ok. okay. So, it, it's ok if you make mistakes, don't worry about that. And, uh, ok. No sé si le compartí, yeah, number five, right? Five. five. Yeah, this one, this one. Remember this that one. Yes. in English, letter T becomes ra, ¿verdad? Una R. La, la T es una R. Una R. Like, like better, for example, we go, yeah. Betty Butter bought a bit of, a bit of, a bit of, cuando bit tienen un bit of, bit of butter. The butter, Betty Butter bought was, was a, was a, was a, was a bit bitter. Siempre cuando tienen una consonante y luego va una vocal, se unen los dos sonidos. Mm. Okay. It's always that okay. way. Okay. In May, okay. her, her butter beater. Bara, bara, bara. 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 Bara beat off. Bara beat, beat off. off. Okay. Bara yeah. beat of better butter makes better butter. So, Betty butter bought, you know, bora, 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 bot. Bot. Bora, beat off, beat off, beat off, and then making butter, butter is bitter, butter better. Okay? Now we're, okay. we're good with this. So try to practice. Now let's go back and, and take turns, ¿verdad? Hagamos turnos. ¿verdad? Tomemos turnos, practicando esto. Peter Piper, the, the bug and the bird, and the berry butter, number five. I have to go, you know, I have to visit some other uh, rooms. Tengo que visitar a sus compañeros. Okay, and help them Okay, out. thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, one second. I didn't have, okay. I didn't have the camera. Right, so hello, are you practicing this already or did you finish practicing this uh, tongue twist? Uh, well, uh, you finished. You finished already. But it only was the one, two, and five, right? Yeah, one, uh, two, and number five, yes, that's correct. So okay. uh, let's see, Edwin, could you help me pronounce this, please? Could you say it? Okay, I try it again. Okay. Peter Piper a picket. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Peter Piper a picket a peck of pickle peepers. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peepers. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peepers. Where is the peck of pickle Peter No, peepers. Peter pick a peck of pickle Okay. <laughs> I'm so okay. sorry. No, no, that's okay. Uh, I look at the tone for that. <laughs> no, that's okay. Now listen to me, please. Listen to me. We, you say Peter. Peter. You, know, you will say Peter and this Piper. Piper. And then it's Pig. Uh, Piper, Piper, Piper. Yeah, Piper picked, you know, picked a peck of pickle. 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 Pickle peppers okay. and peppers. Now, yeah, listen to me. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers, where's the peck of pickle peppers Peter Piper picked? 
Entonces, you have to do the intonation. Hay que hacer la entonación. You know, that helps. Okay. Un pequeño consejo, you know, a tip for you. Si tienen una consonante okay. y luego va seguida de una vocal, you have a consonant sound and then a, a vowel sound, unimos, you know, we make a link sound. Por ejemplo, acá, el pasado de pick es picked, con T. Decimos, Peter Piper, picta, picta, peco, pico, purpose. Y aquí, peck, lo unimos con la O, you know, we put it together, you know. We link it. Okay. That's what you do. Okay. You know, peco. Yeah. That's what you say, peco. Picta. That's what you do. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's see, Nati. Let's try to practice the number five, please. Okay. This one, okay. Can you give it a try, please? Go ahead, please. Okay. Betty bought about a bit of butter. The butter Betty butter bought was a bit, a bit bitter and made her butter bitter. But a bit of better butter makes better butter. So Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter, making Betty Butter's bitter butter better. Thank you so much. Yeah, this sounds is 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 great because it helps us. You know, you speak a little bit fast. That was good. You know, and that's what we say: Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. The butter, better butter, 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 and then you say it just like that, right? <laughs> you know, that's a tongue twister, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to exaggerate, and that's. That's going to help you with English, okay? We have to exaggerate. The faster, the better. You know, Betty Butter bought a bit of butter. The butter Betty Butter bought was a bit bitter. It made her butter bitter. And, but a bit of better butter makes better butter. So Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter, making Betty Butter's bitter butter better. Hasta sin aire se queda uno, you know? But you have to say it like that. <laughs> that's right. Yeah? yeah, that's right. You know, you're like speechless right now, breathless, okay? Now I'm going to I'm gonna close the breaker room so we can continue with the class. All right? It's almost okay. time to go. Okay, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. All right, so uh, let me ask you, did you practice the conversation? I mean, the listening and the uh, the tongue twisters, everyone? Let's see, Carlos, did you practice her? All right, so let's continue with the rest of the class. So for tonight, I have this activity, which is the speaking, tell me about yourself, okay? So the next activity is tell me about yourself. And what we have is you're gonna be working in purse again. And in this case, uh, please check six questions below, then interview a classmate you don't know very well. Ask follow-up questions. So how many questions do we have in here? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We have 10 questions. Out of these 10 questions, we're gonna just choose six. For example, let's say that I choose from one to five and then I choose this one. So I'm going to practice with a classmate in purse when we're gonna ask and answer the, the questions over here. And you don't have to have the same questions. For example, maybe Manuel has question one and then, then I have question six and vice versa. But what you have to do right now is, so choose six questions and interview your classmates. And here we have an example. What were your best subjects in middle school? You know, this is the question number three. And then your classmate can answer my best subjects were science and math. And then you can make like a conversation in here. So really, me too, did you get good grades in English? And then you, you do a follow-up question. Okay, si, si le pregunta cuál era su materia favorita y dice, no sé, mate. I mean, you gotta say why, because I was good at math or because the teacher, I had a good teacher or because I paid attention. So let's try to make like a conversation out of this. Don't, don't just uh, go straight to the point. Okay? Okay. 
remember in here you don't have to write anything you don't write anything you know just try to uh make a conversation with your class all right we only have like six or seven minutes before the class is over so we don't have a lot of time so uh sam is speaking let me uh make the uh the breaker rooms one more time so let me just one sec come in here All right, so there you go. So the the rooms uh, are open again, and right now I'm going to send to you the uh, question so you can interview your classmate. Okay, here we go. All right, so join the break rooms, please. So in that way, you're gonna help your classmates. Thank you. Um, Adriana. Yes. Oh. Bueno, vamos a practicar entonces esa pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. Um, who's first? Uh, ¿Quién empieza? Eh, uh, okay, okay. Where do you go to middle school? Um, middle school se refiere a, I'm sorry. Mid middle uh, school, middle middle school means, uh, I'm sorry, middle school means uh, seven, eighth, and ninth grade. Tercer ciclo. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. I study in um, Jose Simeon Caña School. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can also say I went to. You can say that too. I went. I went to. You can say that. All right. Okay. Uh, were you a Were you a good student of a middle school? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perdón, That's what everybody says, right? Todo, todo es lo que todos dicen, yes. That's what everybody says. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, who will huh? pronounce? Who will pronounce? Uh -huh, eh, eh, study in, pa in past. It's, it's almost the same as, as in present, but you just say study. 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 Yeah. With a D at the end. Studied. Studied. You can. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, were you a good student? So, oh, sorry. So were you a good student in middle school then, Adriana? Why? Yes. Uh, uh, because I, I went. Uh -huh. Eh, iba todos los días. Eh. Okay, because uh, I. Uh, I no, puede, uh, hay una expresión, se lo voy a mandar. Okay. Es bien fácil, pues, because I never miss a class. You can say that. Because I never, because I never miss, miss classes, or I never miss a class. Miss, como de extrañarse, también es como. Miss. Eh, miss. Uh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to everyone because I never miss a class. Esa es una forma, all right? That's a way. And but you can also say because I, I didn't I didn't skip classes. Skip classes significa que se quedaba fuera o se saltaba clases, verdad? Because oh, okay. I didn't skip classes, or you know, because I was responsible. You you can say <laughs> I was very responsible. You can say you put out examples. I did the homework. Okay, I did the homework all the time or always. Okay, I pay attention in class, right? Toda la vida. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I pay attention in class. You can also say, uh, um, yeah, I think that's enough. Okay. okay. But you have to think, you know, we have to think a little bit more on this. Okay, that's the idea. Thank you. You're welcome. But I have to go, you know, I have to visit the other rooms. So I have to help some of your classmates as well. All right. Yeah. Soy, como, soy, como, soy como los comandos de salpamento, andan por todos lados. Física. Physics. Physics. Fórmula es fórmula, ¿verdad? Fórmula. 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 Yes. Uh, are you talking about física, educación física o física la asignatura? The science, physics. Okay, science. science. You say physics. Okay, physics. Physics. You say physics. All right. And the other one is PE. Uh -huh. The other one is PE for physical education. That's PE. Educación física. And, and the answer, did you have, did you have a prep? And it's past, but, todavía lo tengo, this moment. Yes, I did. ¿Cómo sería mi cuestión? Yeah, you, you can say that. Yes, I had a, a dog, you can say, or I had a, a cat, and I still have it. I still have it. I still have it. I still have it, uh -huh. yes. Um, and were you a good student in middle school? Um, I said, I, yes, I was. Or, and Shao Shao con Husky. Husky. Yeah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Hmm? Ya se me el teacher. Ajá. Uh, me quedé, uh, me quedé solo en una sala. Yo también me he quedado sola. <risas> cuando, cuando le pase eso, eh, creo que pueden pedir como ayuda. Entonces me cae un mensaje a mí. Yo lo que, uh, hago, okay. lo, lo que hago es los muevo, los pongo con alguien que está solo. That's what I do. Uh, ah, sí. okay. no, no, no regresamos, pero ya hicimos aquí el texto. <risas> es, sí. esa, esa es otra opción también, ¿verdad? Se regresan a la sesión y ahí siempre hay alguien. <risas> Uh -huh. Siempre hay alguien que se queda perdido. A la okay. deriva. Está bien. Come on. We have to finish the class right now. I mean, because I have, I have a second class. So my students are waiting for me. I have to say goodbye. And let's, uh, let's uh, meet on Monday again, please. And keep on practicing. You know, keep on practicing the platform. Okay. 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 We, we, go, we go little by little, remember, little by little. <laughs> All right. Thank you, teacher. I see so, you Monday. See you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.